Hello everyone, my name is Henry Li Xinyuan. Today I'll be introducing our submission to the IWSLT Multilingual Track ACL 66 initiative. In this track, we were tasked with translating recordings of ACL paper presentations into 10 different languages. This task presents a unique challenge compared to the typical speech translation setting. In addition to the multilinguality, we're also dealing with a very specific translation domain with a high concentration of technical terms, long and segmented audio, as well as speakers from a diverse set of backgrounds with varying accents. The task was further subdivided into two subtracks, constrained and unconstrained, with the former imposing certain limits on the data and pre-trained models available to us. We therefore developed separate systems for each track while employing similar techniques to address the previously mentioned unique characteristics of the data set. We focused primarily on cascaded speech translation approaches. In addition to the standard evaluation metrics, word error rates for ASR, GLU, and CHRF for machine translation, we also came up with our own evaluation metric, technical term recall, in order to assess our system's performance in this highly specific technical domain. We use the following procedure to compute technical term recall on our data set. First, we invited domain experts to annotate the reference transcript, highlighting any words that they would consider specific to the NLP domain. We next make use of an alignment between the hypothesis and the reference which can be generated by many standard ASI evaluation toolkits, including CALDI or the SCTK toolset from NIST. Technical term recall would then simply be computed as the number of accurate retrievals of annotated technical terms divided by the total number of annotated technical terms in the entire reference transcript. In a constrained ASR setting, we quite naturally gravitated towards using WISPA, a state-of-the-art ASR model released within the past year, which not only reported strong ASR performance, but more importantly, was known for its robustness to different accents, making it uniquely suitable for this task. While the technical nature of our domain still presents a challenge to WISPA, the prompting mechanism for WISPA, one which allows the user to construct an artificial ASR context or prefix, was strong to help both weather rate and technical term recall. In general, we found that the more in-domain context that was provided to with better prompt, the better the performance. We found that WESPER performs better when transcribing the whole talk compared to transcribing the shard segmented data, since not only does the former match the training setup for WESPER more closely, but it also allows WISPA to make better use of contextual information. By contrast, most MT systems perform translation by sentence as opposed to translating the entire document. We therefore employ sentence segmentation as part of our cascaded speech translation pipeline using the Earthstart segmenter on our transcriptions before feeding it to our downstream MT system. Earthstart uses a two layer transformer architecture trained on a classification task, which predicts whether each candidate segmentation site is to be segmented or not. In general, segmentation tools need to deal with acronyms and irregular punctuation. And this learn approach helps to avoid oversplitting on these irregularities. We tested on several pre-trained multilingual MT systems all 10 of our target languages are fortunately supported by the, by the models that we have experimented on. NVART 50 is a denoising transformer that can be fine-tuned to perform translation. The original authors of NVART 50 released a one-to-many version, which we used in our study. MTN 100 and NLB 200 are massively multilingual MT systems. In our experiment, we used distilled versions of each, the 1.2 billion parameter version of MTM100 and the 3.3 billion parameter version of NLB200. Our empty results can be seen in this table. 
with NLB being the highest performing model. We attempted to include domain specific data to fine tune these models using sequence level knowledge distillation. But unfortunately, we found that due to the noise level of our crawled ACL data, those are not suitable for creating pseudo label MP data. In a constrained ASR setting, we focused our efforts at leveraging and improving pre-trained ASR models, in particular, ASR models that were pre-trained in a self-supervised fashion, such as Hubert and Wastivac2. We found that fi when fine-tuned on data from more similar acoustic environments, such as Tetium 3 as opposed to the more commonly used Libris speech, pre-trained ASR models are able to perform much better in addition to matching the acoustic domain, we also want our ASL models to accurately transcribe as many technical terms as possible, something that is crucial for the downstream task of speech translation. We make note of the fact that the language model that is often used during ASL decoding to improve transcription accuracy and quality is usually just an angular model trained from a common corpus like Libri speech. That therefore can easily be interpolated with in-domain data to be both generalizable and domain adapted. Adding ever greater quantities of in-domain data, the process of which is shown in diagram on the right, can further reduce the complexity of the interpolated language model, which in turn will provide more benefits to ASR decoding. With that in mind, we performed constrained ASR experiment where increasing quantities of domain matched data was used during language model interpolation process. Our results broadly match our expectations regarding the benefits of acoustic and language model domain similarity. Our best performing system for each acoustic model tends to be the one with the largest quantity of in-domain data being used during interpolation. Likewise, given the same amount of in-domain data that was used during inter uh, language model training, it's the wave to vac model that was fine-tuned on Tetlium 3 that performed the best. Next, we'll move on to discuss our MT systems. In a constraint setting, the pre-trained models that we can use include MTM100 and MBOT. We attempt to fine tune both on must-see by text, as must-see is sourced by TED Talks, which are similar to our domain. We find that MTM100 is not helped by fine tuning. For MBOT, we try fine tuning both in a bilingual manner as well as in a multilingual manner, where we combine fine tuned data for both for all the language pairs that we're interested in. We find that bilingual fine tuning is much better than multilingual fine tuning in setting, likely due to the difficulty of one to many translation. We also find that in many languages, fine tuning even has performance. Some examples include Russian, Japanese, and German. By contrast, for a couple of other languages, fine tuning MBOT outperforms MTM100. We tackle the scarcity of in-domain data with a brute force approach, crawling the ACL anthology. Papers and talks from ACL to 2021 were crawled. We could potentially expand our efforts to include earlier iterations of ACL, although not only would video presentation availabilities drop, older ACL papers may also have lower keyword relevance. The crawled text data is extremely noisy and required a large amount of post-processing, as shown here, before it could be used to improve language models used in ASR decoding. The final cascaded speech translation results are shown here. Compared to empty outputs using Oracle transcripts as input, our unconstrained cascaded system only loses around 5.7 CHRF, demonstrating the viability of chaining together strong ASR and empty systems for speech translation. On the other hand, our constraint system lost around 12.8 CHRF. We identified a number of directions where future improvements could be attempted. Techniques that reduce error propagation between ASR and MT, such as joint training of both systems, 
could be explored. The constraint system could also benefit from improved accent robustness, highlighting the pressing need for greater levels of accent diversity in ASL datasets, as well as in pre-trained ASL models. All of our code, as well as the latest version of our crawl data, will be made available to the public. Thank you for your attention, and have a great day.